Huh, he locked the door. Hmm? What's that sound? Run! Get away from here! That was close. What in tarnation's that? Here's a story for all you little buzzing flies. Behold, the pinnacle of the Rock Company's technological wizardry. Steam Tank Obsidian! Though I've been forced to unveil it earlier than planned, I think the time is right for a little demonstration. Run! All of you! If you value your lives! Ori, what are you doing? Run! Get going! But... I smell a scoop! Can't publish a headline if you're dead, Scrivener. Uh, you're right, Mutashio. Thank you for talking sense into me. No, thank you for all you've done for me. Now, go on and write a good old story about this. Mr. Rock, it's finally time for a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> I was right about you all along. You're a first-rate merchant. In every way except one. Hmm, yeah? And what's that? Things of value are not meant to be shared with the world. They're meant to be hoarded by those who deserve them. Only then can their true value be achieved. You know what, Mr. Rock? I still admire you. Only a man like you can make something as wild as this steam tank here. Nevertheless, I still can't find it in me to agree. So let's settle things once and for all. I'll make you honor our contract, like any good merchant would. I agree. Let's settle this dispute. Fight me, Perticcio. I swear I'll pummel capitalist common sense through your thick skull once and for all. I'm getting all fired up.
Just a moment. Bring it on! Let's do this, Mr. Rock! Don't underestimate me! Let's get to work! Here we go! I do not regret for an instant any of the decisions I have made. Except for one. That's you, Particio. You were too dangerous of a foe. I should have squashed you when I had the chance. Back when you were withering away with that disgusting little town. Huh. I'm grateful to you, Mr. Rock. Thanks to you, I experienced abject poverty beyond anything I could have imagined. That's what helped me realize the truth. That things of value, well, they just... I don't yet know just how much of a difference I can make. But I plan to do all I can to share the wealth and help make the world a happier place. That's what being a merchant means to me. You simple, naive, ignorant, foolish, unsophisticated, gullible churl. The dreams of fools are in Particio. Sell off those useless ideas. Learn from history. No matter the time, place, or era, it is always the wealthy. The powerful, the deserving, that define the course of history! I need a plan. Calculations complete. Befelgen the traitor! I summon thee! No check! I got to do this, Mr. Rock! Appreciated. Let me get that. Much appreciated. Thinking time. This will make it all right. Right. My prey away. Can't let my quarry escape. Oh. 
tie this time. We need a calculations complete. Befelgen the traitor. I summon thee. I've gained valuable insight. You're finished, Mr. Rock. <sighs> this is the first time something's ever slipped through my fingers. It was one measly pocket watch that changed my life, you know. I saw it glittering in a shop window one day, and I knew I wanted it more than anything in the world. I spent endless hours working as a boot black, my hands stained with polish before I finally could afford it. At the moment it was mine, a deep dissatisfaction sprang to life within me. For a new trinket had caught my eye. So I went back to work. I struggled and I acquired over and over again, I did this. Until one day, I no longer cared how I came by the objects of my desire. By the time I realized I only cared about myself and money, it was too late to turn back. Oh, Mr. Rock. What'd you want so bad that you'd do such vile things to get it? Huh. I don't even remember anymore. Besides, that's all in the past now. My time has come and gone. The future belongs to you now, Particio. Share your values of Sharing value with all. Lead the merchants of this world down a new path. This place is about to collapse. Go, Patricio. Leave me. I wish to remain and watch it all crumble away. Goodbye, Patricio. I see. I think you're misunderstanding me again, Mr. Rock. Huh? Now, you're talking big about me leading people and sharing values and whatnot. But that's not how this story goes. Every merchant's got their own ideals and walks their own roads. Of course, not everything's all rainbows and roses. Sometimes people stumble. My goals, only to help them get back up when they fall. Mm. Well, time to hit that dusty trail again. Uh, by the by, Mr. Rock, seeing this contraption of yours gave me an idea. After you rest a spell, how about joining me on a new business venture? You never change, do you? I've never met a merchant like you. Hmm. Pap, I've finished most of the measurements. That's so. Good work. Hmm. What do you think about it coming through here? Hmm. This valley is a detour. We'll cut down on speed to boot. 
Optimal efficiency would be achieved by having the tracks travel straight as an arrow through town. Oh, no. that's an urban area. I think the residents will take issue with that. Then we pay them to move. That 80 billion I'm investing in this venture should be used for something. Some things can't be bought, Doc. Those are people's homes. They got memories there. And convincing them is your job. You're the one who's deaf to tugging people's heartstrings. And from a logical perspective, this is win-win. The tracks will raise property values and bring in business. Everyone should benefit from this in the long run. Everyone, huh? <laughs> we stood here just like this once, 16 years ago. Remember? Our eyes were shining bright with hope for that silver mine, and we worked like busy little bees. Yes, that's right. I've remembered something I had long thought forgotten. There is true value in toiling alongside equals, sweating and working for a common cause. Of course, the thing that really has me excited is this new business venture of ours. <laughs> the times they are a change. Rock, uh, Mr. President, sir. <laughs> None of that, Thurston. I'm not your employer anymore. Just a simple consultant. Ah, right. <laughs> My apologies. Come now, let's start off on a new foot. We're colleagues, after all. Excuse me, sir. A letter from Particio, sir. Hey, Pops. Sorry, but I can't come home just yet. We're still short on goods and people. And I need to rustle up a whole lot more of both. After all, our new venture is bigger than a Cetus Maximus. That rap scallion. If he's gonna send a letter, he could at least include some orders from on high. Now, now, I see no issue. It's a sign of his trust in us. Besides, I'm sure he's busy out there somewhere wrapping up another business deal. The president of Particio and Rock is a busy man, after all. Particio and Rock. Under company president Particio, the heavy taxes on the steam engine's use were abolished. In their stead, the company employed the poorest segments of society. As for the products Rock Brilliant had once monopolized, they were distributed freely to people all around the world. Extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> another day, another pile of overtime. Are you watching, brother? When I first met him, he handed me a silver coin. He spoke hopefully about a bright future, though I found it difficult at first to believe him. Nevertheless, even now, he's working tirelessly to see his dream fulfilled. An industrial revolution has come, and is beginning to change the world. there, son. It's been a while. 
<laughs> it's been a long trip to get here. My shoes could use a polishing. How about it, for old time's sake? Sure, you got it. I, uh, read something in a paper I found. It said you're trying to save the world from poverty. <laughs> That's right. Things are gonna change if I have my say. The steam locomotive's gonna see to that. The local what? It's this big old hunk of iron that can speed all over the continent faster than a horse can gallop. Fella could see the world easy like if he was riding in one of them. Better yet, it'll help facilitate transport and cultural exchange. Everything will start growing closer. Wowee! You know, I remember you saying you wanted to travel the world. Want a job that'll help make that dream come true? Yeah! You got yourself a deal, yellow guy! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs>